Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I would like to talk to you a bit about my favorite plant-based protein sources. Whenever people find out that I'm a vegan, very often the first question that is going to pop up is where do you get your protein? We have been taught for our entire lives that we need meat in order to get our protein, which is of course a big misconception. There are numerous great plant-based protein sources that you can easily get with your diet. And if you wanna know which of them are my favorites, then please keep watching. Before we start though, I wanted to have a quick word about what's going on on my head. So I'm growing out my pixie and right now I have a super annoying length, but I was able to put my hair into two teeny tiny little pigtails and I got myself a hairpiece. It's synthetic hair, but it is matching my hair pretty good. So I put my hair into those teeny tiny pigtails in the back and I clipped the hairpiece over it. And now I finally feel like myself. This is for the first time since I cut my hair short that I feel like Lara, the Lara that I am inside. So with that thought, let's start on the plant-based protein. My number one plant-based protein source are undoubtedly beans. I really like the taste and I eat any beans I can get. However, there are three kinds that I would say I eat really regularly. I like kidney beans and black beans and there is one kind of beans from here from Austria, from Styria that I like a lot. They are called beetle beans and they look really like a beetle about that size. The taste is a little bit more sweet than the taste of kidney or black beans and I think they are also not as high in protein as kidney beans or black beans but still a great protein source and they are all very delicious. The second source that I like is soy and certain soy products. I always make sure that I buy only organic non-GMO soy and I'd say that on the top of the list is definitely tofu. Tofu is something I used to like even before I went vegan. I used to cook a lot with tofu. However, I did not like smoked tofu before and now I love it as a vegan. And they have two grades of smoked tofu here in one of our supermarkets and one of them is more intense and that one is definitely one of my favorites right now. It's just weird. I do not like eating soy yogurt as a yogurt, as cold, uncooked, but I like using soy yogurt when I'm making cakes and muffins where there is non-dairy yogurt in the recipe and I enjoy a few of the soy drinks. I like the vanilla soy drink and the chocolate soy drink. However, I do not really like the plain soy drink. I use it only when I'm making pancakes. Next on my list, which is number three, is Saitan. Saitan is a great alternative to soy products if you're allergic to soy or if you want to avoid soy for whatever reason. If I'm not mistaken, it's being made of wheat and it is very high in protein. It has like 75 gram of protein and 100 gram of the product, which makes it also the highest protein source in my diet. I did not like the consistency at the beginning because it feels a little rubbery and chewy, but it is not like chewy that you couldn't bite it, but it is different because if you bite in tofu, then it's super soft and it kind of falls apart on your tongue. And that's not the case with Saitan. You really have to chew it just like meat. But I like the taste and the fact that it's super high in protein is also something that motivates me to include it into my diet. And I grew very fond of it lately. So when I'm cooking anything like stir fry or curry, basically any dish, where you would previously, as non-vegan, include meat. This is where I put the saitan in and that's just something I've been enjoying lately a lot. I also like eating broccoli in spinach, which would be number four on my list, both together. I put broccoli in stir fry, in my curry, sometimes I eat it also raw in my salads or when I'm making um, summer rolls or when I'm making sushi, that's also where I like including broccoli. Spinach is something I do not cook that often, but I still like it. So there are a few dishes where I would include it. And this is also a great source of protein. Number five, mushrooms. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, then you have probably seen that coming because I love mushrooms. They are not super high in protein, but there is still some protein in them and I just like eating them. Next on my list, which is by now number six, are lentils. Just like with beans, I like numerous kinds of lentils, but my favorite kind of lentils is definitely red lentils. They are very quickly cooked, which makes them also super practical. I mostly cook 
curry with them or lentil loaf, which would be the plant-based alternative to meatloaf. And they are also very high in protein. They have 27 gram of protein in 100 gram. I also enjoy yellow lentils and black lentils. They are also relatively quickly cooked, but the red ones are the quickest. So this is partially the reason why I use them that often. Number seven, nuts. I like nuts a lot. I use, for example, cashew nuts in order to make myself homemade plant-based milk. And I like to eat them as a snack. I also like pecan nuts a lot, Brazil nuts and almonds. Definitely a great source of protein. And also they have all those healthy fats you want to have in your diet. Next, number eight are chia seeds. I like them a lot and they are also a great egg replacement. So if you're cooking and if you want to replace one egg, all you have to do is to mix two teaspoons of chia seeds with one teaspoon of water and that equals one egg. So I use them in pancakes, you can also put them in your muffins or cakes or if you're making bread. So they are definitely also a great addition to your diet. Peanut butter to my great joy is also high in protein so I don't think there is anything I should say about peanut butter because I'm for sure not the only person who loves it. And last but not least I enjoy any kind of protein powder in my diet. It doesn't matter if it's a raw protein powder or the regular one as long as it's vegan. There are three flavors I prefer. I like the vanilla flavor, chocolate flavor and also the peanut butter flavor a lot. We started adding protein powder into our smoothies recently in the morning and I can tell that I don't get as fast hungry as I would before and I can also tell that my body definitely benefits from a little bit more protein in my breakfast because I work out a lot. Jack and I both work out pretty much on a daily basis so I would say I have like one maximum two rest days per week depending on how hard my workout was that week. So it's definitely a great addition to my diet. And one thing I also do with the protein powder is I started adding it into my pancakes on Sunday and sometimes I also add it into baking. So these are my favorite protein sources, kind of the top 10 list. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If you have any further questions, just write them down below in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumb up and I would be also super happy if you would subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Don't forget to check out the description box for any discount codes and I have there also several links to videos that might be interesting for you. I linked also down below all of my Instagram accounts, you can also visit me there. And thank you so much for watching, I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye!